Hi guys, this is Alicia Mon, and thank you for joining me. This is going to be another video about how you can use tapping more. Um, not all my videos will be only focused on tapping, but I wanted to let more people know, you know, what tapping is and how easy it is once you get to get used to it and you know what it is, how you can use it in your own life every day. Um, so today I wanted to focus on, um, a little snippet of knowledge that I learned in a coaching course that I did. Uh, one of my passions is teaching you things that I spent a lot of time and a lot of money learning and then I get to just share it with you, all of the nuggets, all of the big ones, the big hitters that have really helped me in my life. Um, and it is the nature of emotions and how emotions work. So if we see emotions as a little child coming to us, let's say they had something taken away from them at school. So they are crying and frustrated and they, so you're at home and this child comes up to you really frustrated and crying and is a messenger, is there to tell you something, you know, so that child's there to say, hey, this happened at school and I feel this way. So can you imagine if you were to just say, don't feel that way, everything is fine, go away, to that child. Now, that sounds extreme, but we are doing that to ourselves all of the time when we don't allow ourselves to feel the emotions that are in our body and we deem them as wrong. Anger is wrong. You know, feeling hurt, get over it, feeling, you know, whatever. Now, I'm not saying hold on to anger and have grudges for a long time. I'm just saying once the anger comes, don't throw your anger at anyone, but find yourself in a quiet room, take time for you, and see what's the message here, what's going on here. So the cycle of emotions are, if we're able to tune into it and feel it, so an emotion comes, and then if we're able to feel it and really see what's going on, get the message and see if we need to take any action steps, then that little child says, I'm heard. Everything's okay. You know, she's going to help me get my stuff back at school. She's going to talk to my teacher. Those were her actions that she needed to do, the mom. And so that little child's going to be happy, content, and just skip away. And that's what the emotion does. It releases. And you're not left with that anger in your body all the time. But if you said, no, go away, then that child is going to be feeling that all throughout their day. So this is a very tangible thing that I'm talking about with kids, but also those are our emotions, the loneliness that comes up. Take a look at that. What would that little messenger be saying to you? And are there any action steps that need to be taken? Then the loneliness will bow to you and say, thank you for listening, and it will leave. Okay, so let's do a little tapping with this. Um, I was about to jump right in. I get really excited sometimes, but what I want you to do is think, you know what? Sometimes I don't number. Let's not number today, but I want you just to be thinking about, you know, are there any times that you push down emotions? Okay. If you were to number something, it would be how true is it that you stuff your emotions, that you push them down? Is it a 10? Absolutely true. All the time you do that? Or do you just allow things to flow through you and you're good down in the lower numbers? Okay, no judgment here. These are things that we learn. Okay, so tapping right here, karate chop point. Even though I don't allow myself to feel my feelings, I love and accept myself just the way I am. Even though I think some feelings are wrong, and I should just push them away. I realize that I learned this somewhere and I choose to give myself a break. Even though I don't feel my feelings all the time and I didn't realize I was pushing them down, I fully and completely love myself anyway. Okay, eyebrow. 
can I really feel those feelings? Side of the eye, any feeling that I have been doing under the eye, I've been throwing it at someone else <laughs> under the nose, and that's okay. Chin point. Now I have a new awareness. Collarbone. I'm excited to see what my feelings have to tell me. Under the arm. I wonder what action steps I need to take. Top of the head. I wonder if I could feel my feelings and listen to the messages they bring me. Maybe there aren't any bad emotions. Only sweet little children trying to tell me a message. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay, so how true is it? You totally stuff your emotions, okay? And it might still be absolutely true. But now you have the awareness and you can see and you can pray, let me know when I am stuffing down my emotions so I can be aware of it. And then you can start changing that pattern and retraining that neural pathway in your brain and you can learn a new habit. So be gentle with yourself, feel those feelings, and I love you. Have a wonderful week. Thanks, bye.